Today on Sci Guys, dry ice balloons. Welcome to Sci Guys. I'm Ryan. And I'm Mark. And on today's episode, we'll be learning about sublimation by blowing up balloons with dry ice. Mystifying. Ooh. Sublimation is the process by which a substance goes directly from a solid to a gas without the intermediate liquid phase. The only things you're going to need for this experiment are a stack of balloons and some dry ice. The safety equipment we're going to need for this experiment include an apron or lab coat to protect from spills and splashes and a pair of heavy gloves for handling the dry ice. Never touch the dry ice with your bare hands as it can cause frostbite in a matter of seconds. This experiment is best done with two people. One person to hold the balloon and one person to put in the dry ice. All we're going to do is open up the balloon, put in the piece of dry ice, and tie off the balloon. The more dry ice you put into the balloon, the larger the balloon will get. For this experiment, we've taken a bunch of balloons and put them into a basket. This will help to show how large a balloon will grow with only a small piece of dry ice. Let's look at this experiment a little closer. Sublimation is the transition of a substance from a solid phase directly to a gas without passing through the intermediate liquid phase. For sublimation to occur, energy is required, so this change is classified as endothermic. An endothermic change requires more energy for it to occur than it produces. Carbon dioxide needs to be cooled below negative 78.5 degrees Celsius for it to freeze into a solid state. When a substance is in a solid state, the molecules are tightly packed together. As a substance is warmed, the molecules move further and further apart. Usually, this means a substance goes through multiple changes of state, from a solid to a liquid, and then finally to a gas. Because the air temperature in our homes is so much warmer than the frozen carbon dioxide, the warm air transfers enough heat energy into the carbon dioxide that it skips turning from a solid to a liquid and changes directly into a gas. As our carbon dioxide molecules spread apart and turn into a gas, they press against the walls of the balloon. This causes the balloon to expand and grow larger. The more solid CO2 that changes into a gas, the larger the balloon will get. Well, that's it for dry ice balloons. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this episode, drop us a comment below to let us know and subscribe for future episodes. Also, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you have any questions related to this episode or about science in general, message us on Facebook or drop us a comment below and we'll try to help you out as best possible. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Balloon! Here at Sci Guys, we're always curious how experiments turn out. So if you do these experiments at home, record them and submit them to us as a video reply to this video. But remember, always get your parents' permission before you submit any videos to YouTube.